Well, good morning and welcome to our first video of 2021 from Yoker Evangelical Church. It was a joy this morning to wake up and continue our Bible reading plan um, that we started this time last year. If you've got one of these more precious than gold booklets, then this year, 2021, we're doing the right hand side page. So last year we started off on the left, this year we're doing the right. And it's a good plan to start in January because it kicks off with four beginnings in the Bible. So last year, as we started in January, we did the obvious two. We started with Genesis, the beginning of the Old Testament, the beginning of the whole story of the world. And in Matthew, the beginning of the New Testament, the beginning of the story about Jesus coming to earth as a man. And so this year we're starting with two other beginnings and we read Ezra, which is the start of the story of the people of Judah coming back out of exile. They've been in Babylon, but in Ezra we saw this morning as we read that the people were being called back to their homeland. The king was sending them off. The one that I want to look at this morning, though, is the beginning of Acts. The beginning of Acts, because there we see the beginning of the church. So as we read this book, Jesus, Luke is continuing his narrative that he told us in the book of Acts, in the book of Luke, sorry, that gospel. Acts is then a sequel to what he wrote there. And he is showing what the church does next after Jesus has ascended. He's showing their first steps into being the church that we really are a continuation of today. And so as a church going into a new year, it's good for us to look at Acts, to see what they are doing, to follow their example where it is good, because they model to us a church that is looking to spread. We prayed on Wednesday at our prayer meeting that we would be a church making disciples. And I think that would be the prayer of these Christians in Acts as well. Jesus has given them this mission to go out into the world. And I want to look at just one verse that gives us a hint at how they were approaching that task. Just listen to this from verse 12 down to verse 14. If you've got a Bible, follow along with me. Then the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the hill called the Mount of Olives, a Sabbath day's walk from the city. When they arrived, they went upstairs to the room where they were staying. Those present were Peter, John, James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James son of Alphaeus and Simon the Zealot, and Judas son of James. Listen to this, okay? This is the limits of the church at the moment. There are so few of them with such a big task ahead. What do they do? In verse 14, they all joined together constantly in prayer, along with the woman and Mary the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. What is it that is going to propel this church onwards? What is it that is going to make them go from a tiny community in an upper room in Jerusalem to a worldwide group of Christians? It is this. It is prayer. It is that at this early stage, they depend on God by praying to him. They see their desperate situation and they know that their strength is not enough. And so they pray. And I think this is a beautiful model for us to follow, that as a church we would be this committed to prayer because we see that it is the only way that we can accomplish the job that God has given us to do. That we would be constantly joined together in prayer, that we would love to pray with one another. This year I hope that we will continue to be a church that loves to pray together, that our prayer meetings would be well attended that they would be full of earnest prayers to the Lord, begging for his help. May 2021 be the year that we see the power of prayer as we join together, calling upon the name of the Lord, and through that see disciples made. I hope you have a great day and I hope you have a great year um, where reading the Bible gives you strength, gives you uh, hope in the days ahead. Have a great day. And God bless.